Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Brian O'Sullivan and I'm a part of the Cisco Collaboration team. Today I want to give you a quick update on the WebEx app. Recently there have been so many updates and improvements made to the WebEx app that I want to highlight some of the key ones so that you can be the most efficient version of yourself in your day-to-day -day work. Whether you're new to the WebEx app or whether you've been using the WebEx app for years and years, hopefully you'll learn something new today and some of the new uh, benefits of the WebEx app today. It is November 2021, so I'll be using a November version of the WebEx app in this demo. So let's jump straight into it. So here you can see there is a new look and feel to the WebEx app. There are some new icons and a new general theme and aesthetic to the app itself. First thing we want to do is actually customize the WebEx app for our own needs. So I'm going to go to my profile and go to settings. And first off, I want to go to the appearance. So you'll see that there are a ton of new themes that we can choose from. Uh, dark themes on the left and lighter themes on the right. And I've chosen the indigo dark for my theme here. We can also edit some of the settings in the messaging that we use. So if we wanted to maybe change the language or enable spell checking, maybe we also want to show our favorites on top or show a compact view if we have a ton of spaces to make it more kind of user friendly for us. Those can all be enabled here. What I want to show you next is how we can actually filter messages. So I have the full list of messages available to myself here, but if I wanted to maybe quickly see how many unrest red messages I have, or maybe how many flagged messages I have, I can do that quickly just by actually filtering by those messages, message types. I can also actually change the appearance of the favorites, the separating DMs and spaces and that compact view also from the bottom left um, here, we can actually change the appearance easily. So they are some of the filtering things that we can do on the WebEx app. But next, we want to look at how we can actually show people what we're up to. So if we go to the top left here, we can see the statuses that we have available. So right now I'm in a demo, so I want to let people know that I'm demoing, so maybe not to disturb. And also, I can set that after a specific amount of time, so I might want to change that to one hour. But you can see there are also some preset ones, such as working from home or out for lunch. We can choose these and then change the specific time that they display for and save that there too. Next up, you may see that I'm actually on do not disturb. So if I go into my profile once more, I can go to my availability. So I can clear this availability here. This will show that I'm now active and I'm green, but I can also go and change my uh, availability status to a do not disturb. So this is quite handy if you don't want to be receiving messages or calls during this period, let people know that you're busy. So set yourself to do not disturb so people know that you're working and you don't want to be disturbed by anybody. So what I'm going to do is show my full list once again, and I can see all of the recent messages that I've been um, messaging in lately. But if I want to change the um, view and I want to see maybe what I've been messaging of late or recently, I can use this click to go back button um, on the top so we can actually click back through the messages that I've been actively using today. And I can then go back and go forward into the messages that I've recently just been in as well. You can also hold long press to see in chronological order the messages that you've actually been sending today. It's quite handy to actually quickly navigate through the app. Another cool feature that we can actually do to the WebEx app is add a link. So as the admin of this WebEx app or this WebEx org, I've added the what's new in the WebEx app um, web page as a little tab to the left hand pane here. So if you had a specific service desk or specific IT support link that you wanted to link to the bottom left of your WebEx app, this might be very handy for your users to be able to quickly navigate to that page directly from within the WebEx app, saving them time and making their day much, much more efficient. And what I want to talk to you next about is some of the links that we can actually embed into spaces. So if I go here and I just see that I have um, sent a link, help.webex.com to Brian, I can actually copy this link and I might want to embed it directly into this space. So if we are using this space on a daily basis, this might be easier for us to actually have it directly embedded in this space. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have the URL correct. And now once I have that, I will then be directed to the actual help page directly from the chat itself. So this is very handy if we're using this web page quite often in our day-to-day -day chat, we can have it embedded directly in this chat space 
all from within the WebEx app, saving us so much time. We can also embed some apps. So for example, if you use Miro or Mural, you can do this out of the box, or you can check some more apps in the WebEx app hub too. So you can actually integrate apps directly into your chat space. Cool. So next up, I want to show you how you can quickly peek into a space. So for example, I don't want all of us to know that I've actually seen this message. So what I want to do is right click over all of this message and click on peek. So here you can see all is sending a, a funny little GIF here. Um, but here I'm actually peeking into this message. So I'm not actually showing all this that I've seen this message. So when I jump back out into this welcome space, all this message is still unread. Let's say if I want to jump into all this message and actually read it officially now, here you can see I've shared with him a link and he's saying that he's in love with it. The actual link I've embedded a recent one again is the WebEx desk mini. So this is a new device that we've recently launched and all this is essentially in love with this device, but you know, who wouldn't be? Um, but what I can do instead of actually leaving this message as read, I can right click on this particular message, go down to the bottom and mark as unread. So now that when I jump out of this space with all this again, I will see that that message has now been unread, which is quite useful. One or two more things I want to show you before I go. Here you can see I have a message that I may want to flag. So I can go to the right hand side and I can flag this message or unflag this message. So what I'm going to do is unflag this message and then we'll see that that message is no longer flagged, but quite handy to be able to flag messages for the future if you want to filter by that later on. And next up, what I want to show you is how we can pin a message. So here I'm back in the message space with Brian. I'm going to go to these three icons on the right hand side again. And instead of flag for follow up, I'm going to go to pin message. So here I'm going to pin this message and then pin it as a banner. Now what this does, it actually pins this message or this website in this instance as a banner to the top of this page. So if we have a ton of messages going back and forth and there's that one particular message I want to come back to every single day, I can pin this to the top and actually have this message available to me at all times. Then we can go into this space and then we can see on the right hand side, all the pinned messages and I can, maybe unpin them on the right as well if I wanted to. Okay, so that is all of the updates that I wanted to show you on the WebEx app today. Hopefully you learned something. Um, hopefully you'll use these in the future to make your day a bit more efficient. Thank you very much for listening and I'll catch you in the next one.